the alphabet. It's funny how harmless letters can sometimes make you cringe. How about a TSA pat down or a DMV appointment? What about an IRS audit. Most of the year, you probably don't think about this government agency, but that's not necessarily the case as tax season begins in our country. This year, one looming question is, what are the chances of being audited? After all, Congress just spent billions to increase the number of IRS audits each year. It's a valid question this year because of the Inflation Reduction Act, which became law last year. It included around $79 billion in funding for the IRS over the next decade to improve its operations. So how likely are you to now face an AUDIT audit? Should you pay extra for something like audit protection when you file to avoid fees, fines, and headaches? Audits are going down. Odds of audit are going down. Meet Sue Long with the nonpartisan transaction Records Access Clearinghouse. She's been tracking who gets audited in our country for 50 years. It turns out right now, the rate of being audited is incredibly low. The odds of audit was less than 1%. It was 0.38%. If you're wondering who gets audited the most, for millionaires, around 2.38% faced some form of audit last year. Americans who made under 200000 faced a 0.19% chance. For those making under 25 k your chance increased to 1.27%. Long says her data shows lower-income Americans are actually more likely to face scrutiny from the IRS than those who make more. They have a chance of audit five and a half times everybody else. Of course, there is no telling what the numbers will look like this tax season, but the expectation is the IRS will audit more since new staff will be in place. Already, the agency has hired 4,000 plus customer service representatives. Around 500 different job positions to work there are posted online. The IRS commissioner did stress in a letter to Congress last year that his agency has been following the Department of the Treasury's directive that audit rates will not rise relative to recent years for households making under 400,000. Joseph St. George, Scripps News, Washington.